Lake Oswego is a very nice place to visit. You can walk around the cute downtown area. You could eat at the restaurants. You could go shopping. You could take a dip in the lake. Oh, wait, actually, you can't go in the lake. Not at all. Not unless you actually have waterfront property there. Otherwise, it's illegal. Back in 2012, Lake Oswego passed an ordinance banning anyone from using the city's three public lakeside parks to enter the lake. That's right, public lakeside parks, but only public right up to the edge of the water. You can't swim, you can't launch a boat, you can't put your toe in. Almost all the other land around the lake is private property. So that means you can only access the lake from that private property. Now, a lot of people think the ban is ridiculous, but some argue it's actually illegal. The same year that ordinance passed, two men filed a lawsuit against it. And now, 10 years later, the case is heading for a trial that starts this month. Mark Kramer and Todd Prager argue that since the lake is naturally occurring, it is subject to something called the state's public trust doctrine. Here's a little legalese for you. The doctrine prohibits the state from taking action that would materially impede or substantially impair the public rights to use the waters for navigation, fishing, commerce, and recreation. So they say that means the public ought to be able to use the lake. But the city, as you might imagine, has a different view. The lake was artificially expanded quite a bit when it was dammed way back in the 1920s. So the city says since much of the lake is artificial now, it no longer really falls under that public trust doctrine. They've also argued that the city's parks were not really designed with lake access in mind and allowing access. Uh, they create all kinds of safety and liability risks. Here's what the general manager of Lake Oswego Corporation, a co-defendant in the lawsuit, told us today. Many people who launch um, and we've observed don't have the proper safety equipment that's required on every body of water and have no idea what the safety rules on the lake are to safely navigate. So that, that would be our main concern as far as people uh, launching. Um, you know, we do have a lake patrol here that has authority over our own people um, because they sign something saying they'll obey the direction of lake patrol. but. Um, that doesn't apply to someone who's not a member of the Lake Oswego Corporation. We were not able to speak with either of the men who filed the lawsuit today. The case has been through a lot of twists and turns over the decade. Take a look at this. Kramer and Prager initially lost in Clackamas County Circuit Court and then again at the Court of Appeals. But then they appealed all the way up to the Oregon Supreme Court. And in 2019, the court decided not to rule on it, which was basically a victory for them. And it was sent back to Clackamas County. Recently, a judge sided with the plaintiffs on part of it, ruling that the lake is subject to Oregon's public trust doctrine. So people in theory should be able to dive in, right? No, wrong. As of now, the ordinance is still in effect. In a couple of weeks, a jury, though, will meet to decide whether to actually get rid of the ban. We will keep you posted on that, but keep in mind the case could get appealed yet again. Here's what the Lake Oswego Corporation told us about that today. But there are many parties involved. So what I will say is there's a way that this the final result of the trial could come out that there's more than one party who may may or may not want to uh, appeal. Um, you know, for our part, we're just keeping all of our options open and, you know, we take each phase as it goes and and decide where we want to go from there.